If we know that a function is differentiable on some interval and stays away from zero, then we can also show that 1 over the function is differentiable on this interval. And more specifically, we find the derivative of 1 over g, derivative of d dx of 1 over gx, as minus d derivative of g divided by gx squared. Well, a proof goes as follows. Just look at the differential quotient again. So, so we like to be able to show that this limit exists and possibly to calculate it. So this limit equals the following limit where we multiply the numerator and denominator by gx times gx plus h. So we get gx times dx plus h divided by gx plus h minus gx plus h divided by gx and divided by h times gx gx plus h. Well, the fact that we may divide by gx times gx x plus h is because g is supposed to be non-zero on the interval i. Now what happens? So we see that we simplify the numerator by doing so as g of x minus g x plus h divided by the old denominator. So this equals the limit for h to zero of, and now we take 1 over gx times gx plus h apart and the remainder is given by gx minus gx plus h divided by h but if we put a minus sign in front of it then we get minus the differential quotient of g at h. So we get the following limit so we can we see that we have a product of terms and we can calculate this limit as a product of limits if only those limits exist. Well, th this is what follows next. So the limit of the first term, the limit of h to 0 of 1 over g of x gx plus h equals 1 over gx squared since a differentiable function is continuous. And on the right hand side, the limit on the right hand side is minus the derivative of g in x. So this shows two things. One is that 1 over g is differentiable and secondly that we may calculate the derivative of 1 over g as minus the derivative divided by the function squared, function value squared.